Hello and welcome to this presentation on interactive dressings. This is one of a series of videos developed by WoundEducators.com in which we discuss and demonstrate different types of wound dressings. Wound dressings are sometimes described as passive, active, or interactive. While passive dressings simply serve a protective function, active dressings actually promote healing through the creation of a moist wound environment. Interactive dressings, on the other hand, not only create a moist wound environment, but also interact with the wound bed components to further enhance wound healing. For example, interactive dressings may reduce colonization count, reduce the level of exudate, improve wound bed moisture retention, improve wound collagen matrix, remove cellular products, or provide protection for the epithelializing bed. In this presentation, we will look at specific interactive dressings that fall into the general headings of antimicrobials or biologics and biosynthetics. First, we will consider antimicrobial dressings. These dressings contain broad-spectrum antimicrobial agents and have been developed to minimize colonization and prevent local infection, thereby promoting wound healing. Let's now look at a number of antimicrobial dressings. Silver dressings. Silver has been known for centuries to have antimicrobial properties. There is currently an abundance of dressings on the market that deliver ionic silver. Some of these dressings appear to be particularly effective at eliminating antibiotic resistant bacteria such as MRSA and VRE. Dressings have recently been developed that incorporate polyhexamethylene biguanide or PHMB an odorless, colorless, clear, broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent. This agent acts both as a bacterial barrier and as an active antimicrobial capable of destroying pathogens. PHMB does not irritate nor hypersensitize the skin, which makes it particularly well-suited to chronic wound care. Cadexamer iodine dressings. Iodine is a potent broad-spectrum antiseptic agent that has been found to impair the function of cells if used in too high a concentration. Cadexamer iodine is a slow-release antimicrobial capable of absorbing excess wound exudate while offering a sustained level of iodine in the wound bed. Bacteriostatic foam dressings. These dressings prevent infection by inhibiting the growth of bacteria. They are indicated for the prevention of local wound infection in many types of wounds, including pressure ulcers, venous stasis ulcers, arterial ulcers, donor sites, abrasions, lacerations, radiation burns, post-surgical incisions, and other wounds caused by trauma. Honey-based dressings. These are a relatively recent innovation and are thought to offer anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, debridement, and odor control effects. In addition, they are thought to promote wound healing by increasing fibroblast activity, angiogenesis, and epithelialization. Honey-based wound dressings can be used in a variety of chronic and acute wounds, as well as burns and atopic dermatitis. Next, we'll take a look at biologic and biosynthetic dressings. These dressings are derived from natural sources and provide a healing scaffold or matrix that assists in the granulation and epithelialization of partial and full thickness wounds. Biologic and biosynthetic dressings have been shown to achieve a higher rate of wound closure in difficult to treat wounds compared with standard treatments. Let's look at some examples of biologic and biosynthetic dressings. Collagen dressings. These dressings positively enhance and influence wound healing, not only by encouraging the deposition and organization of newly formed tissue, but also by stimulating macrophages and fibroblasts. They are generally available in the form of sheets, gels, or particles, and can be moisturizing or absorptive, depending on the delivery system, to maintain moist wound healing. They are easy to apply and remove, and tend to be conformable. Polyacrylate dressings. Activated polyacrylate dressings facilitate wound debridement by retaining moisture while attracting and retaining proteins and bacteria. 
This interactive dressing supports both moist wound healing and autolytic debridement, gently removing dead tissue from the wound bed while creating an ideal healing environment. To learn more about moist wound healing and other key concepts in wound care, you may wish to consider becoming certified as a wound care specialist. The benefits of wound certification are immeasurable, both to your own career and to the standard of care that you can offer your patients. And because Medicare and other organizations are now holding healthcare professionals responsible for outcomes in wound care, there has never been a better time to become a wound care specialist. WoundEducators.com is dedicated to helping you take this all-important step in your career and to help you handle any type of wounds you may encounter in your daily practice.